Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos. Today we have a Digital Dojos quick tip. Now this is a simple tip, but it's something that new Mac users may not know. No. Um, if you head over to your Mac and go over to the top right and you know, type in terminal, if you have that open, this is how you can access those hidden files on your Mac that you may not be able to see. Now why do you need to access hidden files? Now uh, this is the same as reason on Windows where that sometimes you need to access files that are located in a certain folder or whatever it may be. So for example, when you jailbreak an iPhone or an iPod, you need access to an IPSW file that may be stored in the iTunes folder because you updated through iTunes to get to the latest version. So for example, you need the 5.1 for your iPhone 4 or whatever it may be. But you don't know where that IPSW is. You don't know how to get to it. Um, you know, you look it up and then it tells you you have to go through library and then Mac, whatever, but you can't find that library folder. So this is how you do it. So I already uh, typed this in before because I had to do this earlier on my Mac, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll paste it in. All right, you can see it right here. So basically, again, I'll just retype it here so you guys see. Defaults right space com dot apple dot finder space capital apple or capital A for apple, uh, capital S for show, capital A for all, uh, and then files true. And I already done this, so I can hit it anyways. Uh, after you do that, you want to type in kill all space finder. This will kill all your finder applications, kind of like exiting Windows Explorer or explorer.exe. So I'm going to click that, and you can see all my icons kind of flash right there. Now when I go into finder, you'll notice something else. Or you notice, when you go into finder also, you'll notice something a little bit different here. So you can see here, once I go in here, you can, when I go to, for example, my home folder, I have these extra folders that weren't there before. I have these blanked out folders that you may have not seen. You may have a couple of different ones. But one mainly is you'll have this one called library. This will kind of let you go into your app data. This is very similar to that in Windows. You can go into view, folder options, and access hidden uh, files and folders. This allows you to go into something like iTunes, and then you can go into iPhone software updates or iPod software updates. And you'll see the IPSW files that you've updated through iTunes. So just a little quick tip for you guys on the Mac. Uh, works on the PC as well. Go to view, file folder, you can file folder options, view hidden files and folders. Hope this helps out some of you guys.